that these studies show it works. If you're unhappy with the way you are, why shouldn't you be able to change that if you can? I mean, if you support trans- Nobody's unhappy with being gay except for when, like, you make them unhappy. That's why they're unhappy with being gay. It'd be like being unhappy with having black skin, right? It's like, yeah, I'm sure you are unhappy with your black skin if you're a slave in the 1700s. I'm sure that makes you very unhappy. Not specifically your skin, but the fact that you're treated differently as a result of it. Yeah, makes it makes perfect sense to me. This video is called, What Causes Homosexuality According to Science? And I am going to learn. Let's go. Why are you gay? Why are people gay? The Good answer question. is not so clear, but in this video, I will tell you what we do know and what we do not know to help clear things up. Okay. But before we get started, we need to clear a myth. First one, the gay gene. That does not exist. There's no evidence to suggest it does. And okay. any connections people have found, they can easily be seen as a coincidence. So what does cause- Honestly, like i buy that like there's there's no here's the thing about genes genes are respond like they're instructions for expression okay and you can override those instructions relatively easily like think about it your genes say what skin color you have but you could just spray paint yourself a different color like trump does you know what i mean like that's called a phenotypic uh i mean i guess it technically wouldn't be phenotypic because it's not part of you but my point is you can practically right override it okay it's not hard like my vision i got lasik okay i overrode my shitty vision genes so i believe honestly i'm a, a proponent of the idea that there's no gay gene it just kind of happens how's this well that would be prenatal testosterone however again it is not that simple and honestly huh? it is a wild thing to go into but before wait wait wait, wait, wait. did he say that prenatal testosterone causes gayness so what does cause this well, that would be prenatal testosterone. How okay, well, that's where you lost me, man. However, again, it is not that simple. And honestly, it is a wild thing to go into. But Dude, the, the, the 2D persona with the suit and tie along with the Crusader mask is crazy. That's the, the Crusader helmet. That's crazy. That's, that's wild, man. That's crazy. That's so cool. It's so I wish I had a helmet like that. But before we discuss it, how do we measure prenatal testosterone? I'm going to cover it right now, and personally, what? I find this extremely. But why would okay? Extremely fascinating. But and why would why would you want to? to know? Especially since if you look into other YouTube videos on this, you're not going to see any of them discuss this. How like okay. If you want, okay, so if you're like a first time, like, I'm just curious, Andy, right? How much testosterone a fetus has? Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's reasonable to me, right? I just want to know for science's sake. Who knows? Maybe all fetuses have like 10,000 testosterone prenatal, right? Like, maybe, maybe. So, but, but like, if you're just doing it to find out if, if you're going to be gay or not, it's like, dude, why do you want to know so bad? What, are you going to date them? What? You're like, that's stupid. Also, what's this font? This cooltext.com let me throw a red outline on a However, blue text overlay like what is this this is shitty this is horrific this oh god i'm interested in this material i don't blame you and you can skip to this timestamp right here now if you look into other videos no, no, I'm very interested. they will say many of the same themes i'm saying right now about prenatal testosterone but they will not explain how scientists measure okay. this it is not that simple because prenatal testosterone. I mean, if you want to find that out, that's called research. Well, hold on. Let me let me replay that. I want to be as clear as possible on what he just said. Right here. Now, if you look into other videos about homosexuality, they will say many of the same themes I'm saying right now about prenatal testosterone, okay. but they will not explain how scientists measure this. It is not that simple because prenatal testosterone. Okay, so all he's saying is that he is not going to explain it. Okay, sorry. I was being uncharitable. You can measure the levels when you are inside of the womb. You can simply get some samples of the anonymic. I thought he was saying that like, oh, they're hiding it from you. They're hiding from you how they measure it. I thought that was what he was saying. Sorry. Fluid or however they pronounce it or a blood test from the mother and you can measure the prenatal testosterone. But when okay. you're an adult, it becomes much more tricky and there is no direct way of measuring the testosterone. Your current levels are not going to reflect it what they were in the womb. 
So as a result, scientists oh, okay. have to go by prime. I was going to say, I, I thought he meant like modern day, like current day, they couldn't test my testosterone. And I'm like, no, they could. But yeah, okay, that makes sense. And there are a couple of things they look at. First one the text being the face width to height ratio. I'm not going to get over it. The ratio between the two fingers of the index and the ring finger. And your behavior in many instances. What? Studies have shown having a long ring finger. to an index finger is heavily correlated to testosterone exposure while you're in the womb. This is why women typically have shorter Why do you know this? As displayed on the screen. The next one is facial width to high thrace. My man has studied the gay inside and out. My man is the champion of gay homo butt sex. He is the undisputed master uh, of, of all, he's a li like an O'Hara library of like information on what it means to be gay and where it comes from. This is incredible. Sure. You measure from the top of the eyes to the lips. Having a wider <laughs> the face high on priest. average indicates even Indeed, higher Tame levels Pepper. of prenatal testosterone exposure than average. Bro knows me better and than I do, fascinatingly true. Fascinatingly enough, they find this to be true. Hold on, I gotta go back. Having a wider face I, 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 to I gotta make sure I don't miss any of this. This high level important ideas. What you, uh, what's the over under on this being AI generated? No, if it, no, if it were AI generated, I think it'd be a PNG probably. You measure from the top of the eyes to the lips. This Having a wider face out. on average indicates even higher levels of prenatal testosterone. You got to do a better job, man. I'm sorry. Like the animated stuff is fine, um, but like you're trying to make this look professional and it's highly, highly unprofessional to leave these ugly, disgusting white pixels in here. I wouldn't be shocked if I found like a shutter shock uh, a watermark either. Shutter exposure than average. And fascinatingly enough, they find this to be true with other species, including apes. Scientists are able to predict where an ape will end in the higher- That's so funny is you can tell he drew this shit himself, which not going to knock him for doing it. I'm terrible at drawing, but you can tell he did this shit himself. And then he just apes. like scientists are stole this shit from the internet from GTA. Able to predict where an ape will end in the hierarchy Hello, simply Jeanette. by the face alone is because great. it predicts things such as dominance and aggression that is <laughs> extreme oh no what, what what's my uh he, he can he can look directly at my face to tell me how dominant i am that's not gay guys it's not gay extremely fascinating personally but what do we actually know about prenatal he finds it so fascinating day? Well, first off, it has nothing to do with estrogen. Absolutely zero correlation between oh. the two. It only okay. has to do with testosterone. And from my okay. personal research- Okay, okay, Granted, that's pretty interesting. If that's, if true, big if true. Search. This I don't makes know what a lot we do with that info, but big if testosterone true. Testosterone and the lack of testosterone both really have much stronger impacts on your development, who you are as a person, your personality, your temperament, and all of these other things. It plays a much larger role than estrogen. Yet people don't know this because we commonly associate estrogen with being more feminine and testosterone with masculine. That is Everybody true. needs testosterone. Women simply have far less of it, way less of it. I'm talking like easily 10 times less. But how Got does it. testosterone play a role with homosexuality? Really have to nail that in. Many studies find that it is due to higher levels of testosterone exposure in the womb. From what really? I've seen. The issue we have- Holy shit. High T. High T alpha male gay boys, okay? Let me tell you something. If you're gay, if you're like 100% homo butt sex gay, right? That means that your, ho your T levels are through the roof even in the fetal stage of development. That is nuts. What, what, what giga chads they are. Holy shit, that's Though, crazy. Is that there are lots of other studies that find different and conflicting things or just find nothing correlating to this at all. That's what I'm Some taking Some say it has anyway. nothing to do with prenatal testosterone and others have claimed it has to do with lower levels of testosterone. And okay. the opinions have actually changed and people have speculated over time. But from what I can see, the general... But once again, it's like, okay, you're, all you're telling me is that we don't know. Like, oh, this study says this, but then that study says that, but then this study says this. And there's like equal evidence on both sides. And then at the end of the day, it's like, okay, let's say that one of these sides is correct. Now what? You know, like, what, what, do I, what am I to do with this information? Like, are we solving cancer? Like, are we, like, keeping kids from getting a uh, pal uh, cleft palate or something? Like, what, what's really the end game here? Oh, it's to keep people from being gay. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, okay then. Consensus is that it has to do with higher levels of testosterone. But another interesting thing is Mugahak. lower amounts may also have an effect 
as research in other species have shown that exposure to higher levels of testosterone Funny. during critical periods of development promotes male typical behavior, while lower leads to more female typical oh no. development. Oh no, being gay is female typical. Oh, f and this confuses the hell out of me. Why is it that higher levels lead to homosexuality, but lower levels lead to more feminine behavior? Okay, now you might be that, asking, okay. what's the problem with this? How is this a big deal and how does it confuse you at all? It's because according to studies and what I've also seen personally- We're sticking with the Alpha Chad gay boy hypothesis. Homosexuals tend to have more feminine personalities and temperaments and behaviors. Personality-wise, they're more leaning to higher levels of agreeableness. Okay, because behaviors are societally driven. See, here's the problem. His, I figured it out in four minutes. His entire worldview is that everything can be explained by like natural processes and genetics, right? By like, uh, by, by what uh, juices bubble up in your body. No, okay? That's not how that works at all. The environment in which you grow up and, and spend your time has an enormous impact on how you act and, and what you, and even what you look like, really, and how your body functions. Like it has uh, an impact on all of that. It's called um, epigenetics. There's an entire field of study around it. Epigenetics, it's beautiful, okay? I find it incredibly interesting personally, but like these dumbasses think that like, oh, you're just like born with certain juices in your body and then that's it. Like the, the, everything's like predetermined basically, but then they act like it's still the gay boy's fault for being gay, you know, like, or like they're genetically deficient or some shit for like, like no reason other than that, like they decided that, you know, like it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense except they just hate gay people. That's it. That's all it is. They just, they don't like gay people or trans people because they think they're the same thing. And open. I guarantee you. And let's be honest, we don't even need studies to know this to be true. If you've ever- You do not have an avatar like this and not be homophobic. For talk to a homosexual, it's easy to spot many of them. Some, they have to say that they're homosexual. Others, you just talk to them and you can hear in their voice, their mannerisms, the way they dress. Oh they no! Act. It's all much more feminine. Okay, he's got a few of you nailed, okay? I'm just saying. It's the gay feminine they exist. From what I can see, this behavior stems from a oh, no, it's me and a biological difference in them. Because a bald many white of man with a beard. homosexual it's men me. that are more feminine, they have naturally higher pitches and tones, just like even me. if they're not trying to sound gay, even if they're not doing this on purpose, they will still sound- But that's not true at all. Like, I'm a little gay, and my voice is, like, super deep. Way deeper than yours, okay? Okay? But I would, I would still bend your dad over. Sound distinctly so different. It, there it was even a documentary I was once watching by a homosexual. He was talking about why do I sound this way? The the gay. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Like that. I know he's getting messed up. It's not gay versus straight. Okay, you got it messed up, man. It's top versus bottom. Okay, that's where you get it messed up because if you're a bottom, I'm sorry. You're just like he's he's right. He's right on the money. Like if you're a bottom. Gay voice. And he that's was going around to people asking why does he sound gay? Why does he sound that way? And he was trying to figure it out. And from what I can see, homophobia. studies yeah. find that those things directly correlate to your testosterone. This is antiquity uh, oh, homophobia. This is um, not antiquity. Um, what, what's the word? I can't think of it. Never mind. Joke's dead. Levels. One of the reasons why you have a higher pitch voice is due to lower testosterone. But if you get higher levels of testosterone consistently, that will change your voice over time. Even biological women who go on testosterone end up biological developing women. their own Adam's apple. No such thing as a biological woman, but the difference between sex and gender, dumbass. They end up ha, getting a you much deeper dip shit. voice. They visually develop an Adam's apple. I'm stupid, even I know that. We also see that childhood behavior, including toys, playmates, and activity preferences, has been linked to adult sexual orientation, with non-heterosexual individuals often recall higher levels of cross-gendered behavior in childhood. I believe that one. You know why? Because if you're a heterosexual, heteronormative couple, you're going to reinforce those same behaviors into your kids, okay? Most likely, I mean, I'm in a heteronormative relationship with my uh, fiance, Katie, okay? She identifies as non-binary. Nonetheless, she also identifies as a woman in public. So, you know, or just in general too. Like, I, she's fine if I call her a woman. So she is a very femme-leaning non-binary person. And so we're in like a heteronormative relationship basically we're not going to raise our kids that way you know like my son if i ever have a son or my daughter if i ever have a daughter are going to be allowed to play with whatever f toys they want to play with and dress in whatever f clothes they want to dress in within reason right whether it's pink or blue or cars or dolls or it doesn't matter okay does not matter it, it's 
It's all arbitrary. It's all arbitrarily assigned. Pink used to be a masculine color. Now it's feminine. Why? Oh, I don't know. It just is. Great. What am I to do with that? Traumatize my children, apparently. <laughs> I don't see color. I'm colorblind. True, brother. Childhood. Which means Trump that is, in fact, a felon. end up doing more stereotypically feminine things. And we should also mention the neurological <laughs> differences between- I used to be taken to Hooters and I still ended up gay. True heterosexuals and homosexuals. The neural pathways are actually different. Homosexuals have distinctly feminine brains concerning the neural pathways. Please look at the images above and allow me to explain. The pathways oh of our God, This guy's such a nerd! Down. They are not connected between the look left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. While for women, it goes back and forth. This shows a much stronger connection between both sides of the brain. This is why women are better at verbalizing their emotions than men, and are also better at multitasking, while men are better at honing in and concentrating on one thing at a time, like a hunter. This is so stupid. Like a hunter. Yeah. And have better spatial awareness. Homosexuals. My God. He said, men are better hunters than homosexuals. <laughs> man, that's, man, that's a low blow, man. ...tend to have more feminine brains than heterosexuals. Trust me, you need to remember this later in the He video. is now, lost in that pseudoscience sauce. To help answer questions, sounds delicious. But despite my best efforts of hours and hours of research, with additional hours just for this video, I have a lot of things <laughs> I just don't know. I and I'm making it clear, this video by no means is to say we have a definite cause for why people are gay or for the behaviors that people exhibit i mean we haven't okay. even talked about extremely masculine gays how does that make sense given what we have true i mean okay i'm we with can them. just observe that there are masculine gays and there are feminine gays and i could okay. not find anything about masculine gays as much as come on man at least draw it yourself listen i respect it so much more when you draw it yourself i don't care how stupid the avatar is you still drew that shit good job unironically good job like th but this is lazy stop pulling from Skyrim, okay? Just draw it. Just draw it again. I mean, I like, I don't know. Like, the, like, okay, I, I'm fine with him representing himself this way if he draws it himself. That's my line. Just I wanted to know. How does that make sense with From what Dark we Souls? covered? It's what causes same thing. a homosexual to either be a the feminine same thing. one or a masculine one? And if you know anything about this, please let me know in the comments. With I enough mods, they're the same game. That up. But now, there is the big question. Is homosexuality entirely biological? I would argue it is not. Our biology plays a large role, but it is not the only thing. Hold on, what, what did he say? I'm sorry, I'm missing a lot of this. Please let me know in the comments. I just need to let her know what? what we've covered. What causes a homosexual to either be a feminine one or a masculine <laughs> one? And if you know anything about he this- He needs to know, guys. Let him know in the comments below. Please let me know in the comments. I That's your hook for making people comment, man. That sucks almost as bad as your text, as your font. Just needed to clear that up. But now, there is the big question. Is homosexuality entirely biological? I would argue it is not. Our biology okay. plays a large role, but Listen it is no. not the only I agree. thing. Even though we have a strong link between homosexuality and prenatal testosterone, we still have the issue that tons and tons of other things are also linked to prenatal testosterone also, such as transsexuals, masculine women, transsexuals. lesbians, bisexual men and women. Dude, who pulled this man out of the f 1987 or some shit? Like, nobody says, nobody like says transsexuals anymore. Like, some people do, but usually they're like, the, the people that I see call, like say the word transsexual the most are, um, TERFs are in second place, but in first place are like trans grifters. Like the, uh, oh, oh um, what are they called? The the derogatory term is true scum. I can't think of the real term. Transmeds. Thank you. That's who I hear use it most. Now, I personally believe that we should bring it back because if you're going to distinguish gender from sex, then you have to distinguish transgender from transsexual. So I personally believe we should bring it back. That's just me. But he's using it derogatorily. The offensive T slur does indeed say it a lot. Blair White is based. Bro, please say psych. Bro, please say psych. Please say psych, bro. Feminine men, criminals, pedophiles, people even with autism. So let me ask you, since all Stay these things right are now. connected and stem from okay, one thing being prenatal testosterone, what causes the different outputs? What determines if you'll be either a transsexual or a homosexual or simply a masculine man or a feminine man? Why not any one of those things and why specifically did they become homosexual? I haven't even seen studies for the other sexuality. Bro, you, you were sitting in second grade, teacher rolls in, the TV <laughs> turns this on.
She said we was watching Bill Nye. She said we got Bill Nye at home. This is Bill Nye at home, baby. Buddies, but I'd reckon they are similar, if not the same, in terms of what causes them. They're probably linked to prenatal testosterone. I would not be shocked at all. And that would only complicate things even further. Why did they not become gender fluid? Why not demisexual, gynesexual, homoromantic Gyne sexual? My dude has done his research holy shit how does he actually okay is he actually homophobic the person who linked this to me said remnant seven set he has to be he has to be the person hello who linked this said welcome he to the channel wait yo it's real <gasps> it's real i'm pogging Gentlemen, dude primarily discuss things relating to human nature oh my god politics, or other things i need one where is merch? where's his merch store anyway is he homophobic? The YouTuber who doesn't get racism? That's me. He's just like me. Is crying feminine according to science? Why therapy is not designed for men? That could mean two things. Is that an AI thumbnail? Uh, I want to analyze it, but I also don't. The Isekai problem? Overload Isekai psychological analysis of its fans? Marxists and communists are puppets of the state? There we go. Interesting content. Hello? Pansexual or any of those things. Why? Gay is the question. Why we don't gay? know. Or at least I haven't found one consistent answer we agree on this or people really can soy point though. to. At least Isakai, on a biological sorry. level. Because when I was researching Spaghetti! these things before, due Delicious. to my own curiosity, I thought, why are people gay? Spaghetti with a pink meatball. That's kind of interesting. Let, let's look into it. So I looked into it and I found the prenatal testosterone. Then I found the neurological. You ever thought about how your entire nervous system is just spaghetti with one big meatball? Logical <laughs> differences in the brain. Nice. Why are people gay? Why That's people kind of gay? interesting. Why are you gay? Let, let's look into it. So I looked into it okay. and I found the prenatal testosterone. Then I found the neurological differences yeah, in the brain. Nice. That answers things for me. But then I got curious. Why are people trans? Okay, here's the thing. If you are thinking in terms of strictly what evolution gave us and why, the question makes sense, right? Why are people gay? Because if you're, but you could ask a myriad of questions in that umbrella though. Like, why do I like food that's bad for me? Why would I rather lay around and do shit j f all, all day instead of go and work out my body and get stronger and faster and more flexible? Why this? Why that? Why did evolution do this to me? Why did evolution do that to me? So on and so on and so on, right? So you could ask all those questions. The only reason we're asking this question specifically about being gay is because some of us hate gay people. Not me, but some of us do. Okay? That's the only reason you ask it about being gay. Because there's so many other questions you can ask. If you're talking about strictly what's good for your survival and also reproduction. Okay? Several, several, several questions. Hundreds probably. Thousands. But no, we have to focus on why people are gay, right? Because that's important. That one, that one's important. That's the important one that I care about. So much so that I did this amount of research on this shit. Because I'm a nerd with nothing better to do jesus alec have you ever thought about the fact that you are just a brain piloting a bone mech wearing a meat armor made of dead stars and and the wiring okay is spaghetti with a meatball it's crazy the brain's the meatball you are a meatball piling a meat suit with spaghetti flowing around you that send electrical impulses okay it's the special sauce that makes you tick. It's a spicy amita ball. We are all a spicy amita ball. Do you understand, chat? Hey, okay? now you know. The eyes are our meatballs. They're, um, olives. Electric spaghetti. Spaghetti. It's so good as spaghetti you eat. Don't eat the, don't eat the forbidden spaghetti. Sexual. I looked into it, and turns out it's literally the exact same things. Prenatal what? testosterone, and the no. same differences in the brain. Huh, that's odd. And you just dive into it more oh, and more. No. You find the exact same. By the way, this is absolutely an AI background. It has to be, right? Yeah, it's not symmetrical. It, like the parts that should be symmetrical are not. That's one. Is it AI? Oh no, I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm thinking about it too hard. Reoccurring patterns constantly. Not for all, but a whole lot of them. Such that I don't even know the biological differences between a feminine homosexual and a biological male that is trans. But why do you care, they are man? Exactly the same from what I can see. So what causes Where are we going with the this? different outputs? Why gay instead of trans, or simply just a feminine man, or a hypermasculine man, or any of these other endless sexualities? From what I've seen, I'm leaning towards that there's a strong possibility that the environment plays a significant role. Yes, there are differences from homosexuals and heterosexuals on a biological level, but I do also believe that there's a combination like, of nature and nurture. Okay, but that's cheating, because there's difference between everybody on a biological level. Like, there's a difference between me and my dad, okay? Because it makes us different people, man. 
Like, the, I know what you mean, right? Uh, to not be uh, pedantic about it. I get what you mean. You mean, like, a meaningful genetic difference. Like, I wouldn't, like, obviously I wouldn't reproduce with one of my uh, my relatives, right? I get what you mean. But at the same time, it's like, why do you care? Why do you care? Where are we going with this? What, like, what, what are we to draw from this? What, why did you, like, spend hours upon hours, apparently... Digging around for this info. What are you doing with it? Yeah, can made atheists. Yeah. We can observe this in other animals such as sparrows. Did you know that okay. you can make sparrows gay? You don't have to modify. That's a conversation starter, man. We have chicks with that. Them on a genetic level at all, they aren't biologically distinct in any way. All you have to do is simply have a young male sparrow, and you remove the mother sparrow from the nest, and the male sparrow oh. will imprint on its father instead. And as a result, that male sparrow will only mate with other male sparrows. We haven't even discussed the fetishes. Oh no, oh no, he's going full Freud. You cannot go full Freud, my friend. Did you hear what he just said? He said Im he will imprint on his father and that will make him gay. He is saying that whatever parent you imprint upon is your sexuality. That is disgusting Freudian bullshit, my friend. Ew. Ew! As yet. We haven't touched on those, and there is overwhelming evidence to suggest Don't that touch on it them. is entirely environmental. Some might feel insulted for me bringing that up right now because this is a video about homosexuality. Tons of people try and draw the connections between fetishes and sexualities, but I find it very appropriate in this context. I mean, again, let's look at other animals such as... Um, it's really complicated because sexuality, like fetishes is just about what you find sexual, right? Sexuality can be about a myriad of different things because you're, it's about a sexual attraction to a person, not an object. You know what I mean? So that's like the key difference there. Like you're talking, like when you're talking about sexuality, you're talking about two adults that are consenting and they're not even necessarily adults. You can be a gay kid, right? You're talking about two people together like a relationship with another human being when you talk about a fetish or a kink it's uh it's not as personal it's 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 more detached it's it's an object okay you're not making an emotional or even like a sexual can i mean you can make a sexual connection with an object sure you know people do it all the time with dildos and shit but like you're not it's it's not a meaningful human to human connection you know what i mean i think that's an important distinction so that's the difference that i would that's the line i would draw People should be less open about their kinks. I agree. Shut up. Shut the f up. Nobody, nobody cares what you're into. Just sheep. If you raise a male sheep in a flock of goats, this it guy. will only mate with female goats. That isn't changing your sexuality right. entirely. Yet it is able to. My man knows entirely too much about homosexuality in the animal kingdom, man. Modify it. It's able to change it so that that male sheep will no longer mate with female sheep. And you can also do the same thing with female sheep, except as a result, they'll actually mate with both male goats. By the way, I don't even particularly believe this. Just FYI. Goats and male sheep. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Yo! That was really funny, man. Those are two solid examples of how sexuality can be changed in the animal kingdom, not on a biological level. It has nothing to do with biology or genetics. Now, I'm not saying it is as simple as that for people. No. But it is a good example to break this delusion, this idea that you are simply born on a biological level with a different sexuality. Okay, listen, you're not just born gay, okay? We, I think anybody with like a basic understanding of epigenetics and environmental influence can understand that. A myriad of factors can turn your, can, can influence your sexuality and what you're into romantically. Like, ob obviously, I feel like that's obvious, okay? I get that. But you're breaking it down to such an extent that it's unhealthy. Like, nobody should care this much, okay? Nobody. Like, the only reason you would care this much is if you don't like gay people or you want to, like, cure gay people or something. Like, it's really weird. There is more to it. It is not that simple. And there's a simple way to resolve yeah, this. Yeah, therapy. If your sexuality can be changed, then it is proven to be environmentally influenced, which leads to a more contentious part of the Of course it is. Being conversion therapy. Many people report oh, horrible horror off, experiences. Dude. Here we go. And you commonly hear things like the use of uh, electric therapy. While there yeah. are some instances where people report positive experience. No, 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 no. Don't act like those are equal, man. Don't act like those happen in equal occurrence, dude. Okay? That's literal, like torture erasure okay that's erasure of like horrific experimentation on an entire group of of 
Human beings. Disgusting. How disgusting. Differences what a freak. In that they changed their sexual orientation. I have personally met some people like that. They said that they were gay, they couldn't control it, and wanted to change it. I have personally met some of those people. Yeah, and they're probably still repressing it. Now, since your sexuality, I've already recognized, can be influenced by nature, it's possible, I suppose, on a tiny, you know, a tiny pinch of possibility, that they actually did turn straight. Voila. I'm sure, okay? I used to think I was straight, then it turned out I was bi. It happens. I get it. But, like, not really. Like, it, it doesn't really work like that. You know, like, usually if you're gay at 20, you're going to be gay at 30 and 40 and so on. You know, like, 99.99 .99 times out of 100, that's how it's going to work out. That's just how it works out. I'm sorry to tell you this, you know? Like, conversion therapy is bullshit. Anybody who says it worked was probably under threat of, uh, uh, of violence from their parents or some shit. Though it's funny because today, if you were to mention this at all, people will True get very aggressive. angry. They have this idea that nobody should have to change their sexuality. No, instead of You're trying right. to yeah. force no, that is correct. To gain electrocuted or doing whatever therapy, that you should embrace and accept your sexuality. Yes. And others need to accept who you are. Which honestly sounds kind of nice. In many areas wait, of wait, life, wait, wait. I mean, I perf- Wait, wait, wait. Others accept you for being straight, my friend. Nobody's coming and knocking down your door and saying, Hey, straighty. Hey, straighty. Why don't you go have sex with girls, straighty? <laughs> with the opposite sex, straighty. Okay, that doesn't happen. That's the thing, right? Like, this is so unevenly applied. You know, like, it's not about other people accepting you. It's about, like, just, just don't... It's like having blue eyes versus green. It's a double standard, exactly. It's a double standard. Perfectly agree with this. Sometimes we just can't change things, and if you can't, Instead of resisting, you should just accept it. Embrace That's horrific, it. Don't Azrael. let it hold you back. But the problem is, these same people who would say that about homosexuality are literally in favor of mutilating their own body to affirm their oh, own gender on. identity. Oh, come on! No, that's be no! First of all, that's not mutilation, my friend. Up until this point, you've been very careful about sounding scientific -y and whatever. But now you've just given the game away because you used the word mutilation for a standard surgical procedure that's been performed on millions of people okay he's he's conflating gay and trans a common tactic of the f homophobe entity instead of accepting the biological reality of their situation you could say the exact same thing about transsexuals we should instead of not doing anything about them help them to embrace and accept how they are and what they're what you do is you let people do what they want with their own bodies and with other consenting parties that are of age Okay, that's what you do, all right? Adult man wants to date another f***ing adult man and f*** him in the ass all night, he can do that. Trans person wants to go get surgery on their face to look more like the gender that they prefer. They can do that. It's called f freedom. Get out of my country. Get out of my country. Are you in the United States? Because if you are, get out. You hate freedom. You f despise freedom, my friend. F*** you. Biological reality is that they're biologically males. Freedom or biologically females. Though that's extremely contentious. You wouldn't be able you. to say that. Now all of a sudden you're transphobic and aiding gender. Yes. Which is kind of funny and interesting because- Let's say you're not transphobic. You still hate freedom. F*** off. When you take into account electric therapy, it sounds much less extreme than mutilating perfectly healthy genitals. I mean, if you were to compare those two out of context, one sounds way worse to me. So I guess it's just a matter of perspective. It's just overblown by people. However, this it is- It sounds all worse because you're using the worst word. the horror stories or good positive stories. But what does the science say about this. Well, there Good was question. an analysis done of 125 men that were in SOCE. Hold on, I want to see what this well, is. Efficacy and risk of sex, because he's absolutely going to misrepresent this. Efficacy and risk of sexual orientation change efforts. Either that or it's outdated as shit. It's from 2021, so it's not outdated. Voluntary therapeutic intervention is to reduce unwanted same-sex sexuality or collectively known as sexual orientation change efforts. No, they're called conversion therapy. Currently, almost all evidence addressing the contested question whether conversion therapy is effective or safe consists of anecdotes of very small... I'm pretty sure we have pretty good studies on this, actually. Full remission was achieved by 14% for sexual attraction and identification and 26% for sexual behavior. That's a horrific, that's a horrific rate. That doesn't mean that it works. That means it doesn't work, dipshit. 14%. What? Rates were higher among married men, but 4 to 10% of participants experienced increased same-sex orientation after SOCE. Net change was significantly... No, this is bullshit. It raises suicide rates by a significant margin. Yeah, but it does. Human rights campaign. I knew it. I th 
Knew it. Let's see. In 2007, a task force of the American Psychological Association undertook a thorough review of the existing research on the efficacy of conversion therapy. The report noted that there was very little methodologically sound research on sexual orientation change efforts, and the results of scientifically valid research indicate that it is unlikely that individuals would be able to reduce same-sex attractions or increase other sex, uh, sexual attractions through SOCE. Okay, so that was in 2007. Clear evidence that conversion therapy does not work. I want to know where their studies from. Like why, I don't have the brain, I'll be honest, I don't have the brain power to like interpret the results right now, like properly. Conclusion, SOCE was perceived as safe and as an effective and safe therapeutic practice. See, like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Who's this guy? Is that Reverend D. Paul Sullins? Anti-LGBT researcher who pushes harmful pseudoscience joins anti-LGBT hate group. Wow, what do you know? There you go. Don't trust a damn thing from that guy. You kidding me? 14%. 14% my ass, dude. Analysis done of 125 men that were in SOCE, which is sexual orientation change efforts. Already that debunked. includes psychotherapy. Don't worry, there aren't any electric chairs or anything like that. Reverend man. He's a religious zealot. That in the study showed many things. For a lot of them, the same sex attraction went down from their initial 5.7 reporting to a 4.1 on the kidney scale, which basically means that but, they were asked to. Did, 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 did bro just say the kidney scale? I think you meant the Kinsey scale, my friend. Bro just said the kidney scale. Rate their same sex attraction and they rated it a 5.7. And then afterward, they but rated why do it point one. Like, okay, let's say that this is real, by the way. I thought this was empty. Let's say that this is real. Let's say you can do this. Okay. Why do you give a f Who cares? What, what, why? Why would you do this? Okay? Like, if somebody wants to do it, sure. For whatever reason, fine. But, like, why force people into this? You still have not answered that question. So includes a reduction in same-sex activity at a 2.4 to this a 1.5. This also this included and then at some. least partial reduction of unwanted same sexuality in as low as 45% of the participants to upwards of 69%, which is pretty nice. Good. A full reduction of attraction was somewhat low at 14%, but 26% for full-on sexual behavior. Interestingly, Four to ten percent of participants experience I just don't buy it. I don't trust that orientation guy. after SOCE. But here's what we've been waiting for. What about the negative effects? The horror stories we've heard about from point eight. Suicide rates are fifty five percent higher in those undergoing. Oh shit! I just skipped to the end. My bad. Conversion therapy. Fifty five percent increase in the risk of attempting suicide. There you go. Where, where were we at? Tell them a gunpoint. Increased same sex You're not orientation anymore. after SOCE. But here's what we've been waiting for. What about the negative effects? The horror stories we've heard about. From 0.8% to 4.8% of participants reported a marked of severe negative psychological change. That's enough for me, honestly. No, there's no reason to change their, their sexual orientation then. You still have not provided a good reason to do this. There's no benefit, none. So that's enough for me. 5% of them, let's say four. 4% of them are experiencing uh, 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 great quantities of, of discomfort and whatever. Like, no, then no, that's good enough for me. Following it, a 12.1 to 61.3 reported marked or severe positive change. Net change was significantly I highly doubt positive that. for all problem domains. Conclusion, SOCE was perceived as effective and safe therapeutic practice by this sample of participants. They also make a disclaimer saying that this is not to be used for broad generalizations, which is totally fair. Though I think what we can take away from this is that there is a certain level of environmental- Yeah, the guy who ran that study's a f religious zealot. ...aspects to it. So Even I don't trust Even in him. homosexuality, which is out of all the sexualities out there, would have to be seen as the most heavily biological. Yet as of this study done in 2021, it shows that it can be changed quite a bit with overwhelmingly positive effects now don't take this out of context i'm not saying but like what positive effects that's another thing is this this abstract didn't go into like what the specific positive effects even were even if you're to take it as truth at all just like oh there were positive effects trust us yeah trust us on that we should force anyone to do this but for those who want to change and they wish to change as i've spoken to many who want to i would say that these studies show it works if you're unhappy with the way you are why shouldn't you be able to change that if you can i mean if you support trans nobody's unhappy with being gay except for when like you make them unhappy that's why they're unhappy with being gay it'd be like being unhappy with having black skin right it's okay i'm sure you are unhappy with your black skin if you're a
slave in the 1700s. I'm sure that makes you very unhappy. Not specifically your skin, but the fact that you're treated differently as a result of it. Yeah, makes it makes perfect sense to me. Transsexuals transitioning to be what they want, then by that same logic, you should support this. Since hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? With the way you are, why shouldn't you be able to change that if you can? I mean, if you support transsexuals transitioning to be what they want, then by that same logic, you should support this. Since it works. No, 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 because if you just let people be gay, they're not going to want to convert. It'd be like, again, it's like eye color. Like, I'm sure it happens, all right? Like, there are people out there who would prefer to have blue eyes over green, sure. And then they can go get that, you know, altered however they do that. I'm sure that happens. But, like, it's very few and far between. It just does not happen, okay? And if it does happen, sure, go for it. You can you can go straight yourself, okay? Fine. That's fine. You can do whatever you want with your body. Nobody's saying you can't do that. But, like, this is not a real problem. Like, this guy's just made shit up. He just made up the fact that, that, that like, the fake fact that, like, gay people want to, to convert to being straight. That's not a thing. It's so stupid. Okay, well, that was, that, that's one of the videos of all time, my friends. One of the videos of all time. They used a convenient sample, which skews their results. We examined a convenient sample of 125 men. Compared to the U.S. population of men, the survey respondents were disproportionately white, Western, highly educated, affluent, and Mormon. Oh my god. People are so stupid. They're so stupid. Oh, why do people gotta be stupid? Just stop being homophobic. Not that hard. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash TTV slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.